Welcome back to Petrol Head Detailing. So this is uh, vlog number six. So it's Saturday, uh, around about half past 12. Uh, should be having a day off today, but unfortunately because of the workload we've had in the last week, I've now had to come in and do a coating. So the last things we have to do on the gold, matte gold DS3 is to protect the bodywork. There is a G-Technic coating that we can use for this particular um, type of finish on a car. However, down to the customer's preference, uh, trying to fit a certain budget, we've decided to try something slightly different. So a product I haven't used before, which is always interesting because I'd like to use new things. And we've done the standard G-Technic new car protection process on every other area apart from the matte painted surface. The wheels have been coated with C5 wheel armour. The uh, roof has been protected with XOV3 and the glass has been sealed with a glass sealant. The bodywork on this car is quite an interesting one. This is a, a limited edition BRM uh, DS3, Citroen DS3. There are only 39 of these cars ever made in the world. And from what I understand, I think 29 of those were left-hand drive, leaving the remaining 10 to be right-hand drive. And this is the last one ever to be registered uh, as a 67 plate. The process of the car is that it is built in black. It's then resprayed with a matte gold around the remainder of the bodywork, apart from the roof, as you can see it there, still gloss and it has unique BRM styling. So for example, on the back, you've got a BRM badge. Included with the car, you get a 4,000 pound BRM watch, which the uh, owner's wife, I believe, has, has already tagged as gonna be for herself. Inside interior styling is there's a gold, matte gold finish to the dashboard and there is also BRM styling on the mats which have just been protected with G-Technic Smart Fabric I one That stuff's fantastic. It will seal your fabrics, protect them from things like UV fading. But the nice thing is if you get water or any, moist, any liquids on top of the fabric, it will just kind of bead on the top so it's very easy to maintain and keep clean. So with regards to the matte product, there are a number of different ones available on the market. My first thought was to go towards a matte wax, something from Angel Wax, uh, Luminosity is their matte range. But in this case, the customer wanted to try and put as much protection on there as possible uh, to fit the budget. Luckily, I was looking around um, on the internet and I came across uh, a Gion product. So it's Gion, Gion Matte. From what I can see, works very similar to a ceramic coating from G-Technic. You get a small bottle like that with the actual product in it. Let's see if I can get some focus. There we go. You get a little pipette to apply the product. And what's different is you get one of these blocks. Now the application of a G-Technic product you would have something like one of these very soft applicators and you basically dot the product onto there and then you work a small section sort of 30 centimeter by 30 centimeters with the Geon product and I'm learning this as I go along you basically do the standard process wash the car down with a good clean detergent um, so do an iron fallout remover and a tar removal and then make sure it's prepped with Gion Prep. Which reminds me, I need to get the Gion Prep. There we go. So that's the Gion Prep. That gets applied to the bodywork first. So the rules of how to apply it are. Apply the Gion Prep over the car, wipe everything down to make sure the surfaces are free from grease. So that's very similar to panel wipe. Shake the matte bottle before use to ensure that the product's all mixed. And then what you do is you take 
your applicator block and these little sort of I think they're like a velour or a soft applicator wrap that round and then you dot the product across here and then working your way around the bodywork you do the same sort of pattern up and down and then left to right so apply this one now see what results we get but from what I'm re I've read you should end up with a really good level of finish keeps the matte finish now this is something very important if you're applying any kind of products to a matte paintwork you want to make sure that they're not going to enhance any gloss if they were to enhance any gloss then you basically undo the whole purpose of having a matte finish on the paint the other thing to be extremely careful with matte paint is if you scratch it and I can't stress this more that's it you can't polish out a scratch from matte paint it needs to be repainted that's make sure that's that means make sure that when you're doing any form of contact with the paintwork that it is as clean as possible another top tip is we get a lot of people ask saying what's the best shampoos to use for matte paint you want something with no gloss enhancers in there so you want a really good nice ph neutral shampoo and there are specific matte shampoos available on the market but you want something that's not going to leave any gloss spots so otherwise you end up with lots of little sort of like glossy spots all over the paintwork another top tip is after you've washed a matte car use a matte quick detailer so wash it dry it down and then to remove any chance of any water spots or anything like that use a matte detailer to wipe over the bodywork that's the gel matte applied to all of the bodywork now I'm going to take the assumption that I've used the right amount I did get an even coverage on all the bodywork but quite surprised how much is actually left 
It's only used about a third, maybe slightly over a third of a bottle. And yeah, it was quite easy to use. I think, if I'm honest, the applicator makes a huge difference. So I've actually bought a couple of extra applicators. And if you can see, just up down there is a brand new five litre Mustang that was dropped off yesterday. That's all been prepared, ready for coatings. There's one little area we just found a defect on the paint we just need to spend a little bit more time on. Well, I'm half tempted to try these type of applicators. So either a kind of foam block, it's got like, I don't know if you can see that. Let me get out of the picture so it's focused. Come on. Come on, focus on that. There we go. So this is like a nice like foam on the actual back of the hard block. And because that kind of reduces the amount of pressure that's applied, and obviously you have a little felt um, applicator over the top of it, because that kind of reduces the pressure that's applied, it actually makes it quite enjoyable to put on as a product. But I think I'm gonna try this applicator, or an identical applicator, with the same type of felt thing, for the crystal syrup uh, application that we're going to put on the Mustang. And I have a feeling that it will work really well as a combination. Other than that, this needs to cure now for, read the manual, at least three hours, and then apply the mat or the cure mat over the top, which is fairly tiny bottle so I'm guessing you don't have to use much on this again shake well before use make sure it's on a clean surface and yeah it says basically work panel by panel and go from there so very easy product to use I would say as easy as doing a G-Technic coating but like I say the applicators just maybe a little bit a little bit easier to work with and we'll see how that works. The finish, I'm really happy with the finish. It's, uh, it's not added any gloss, and you can, you can feel that there's now something there on the body weight. It's very difficult to articulate, especially even with the gloss coatings, when you put those on, it's very difficult to articulate the, the difference without actually allowing you to touch the paintwork to feel how smooth it's become. So according to Gion, this will now bead and offer lots of levels of protection. I haven't actually checked to see how many years worth of protection it offers and then we will get uh, that probably in I'll probably arrange with the customer just to have a chat and an update in a month's time see how they've got on with it see how it's going uh, make sure that, that basically the product's still protecting the paintwork really well and then we're going to move on to the Mustang on Monday, so today's Saturday, I'll do the rest of the Gion coat on this a little bit later today. And then Monday when we start doing the Mustang, this will go out, that will get coated and then it has to get back to the dealership for the end of play on Monday. So first thing in the morning we need to make a start on that, getting all of the ceramic coatings onto it. And then we have a beast of an X5 just tucked in the corner here of the unit now. This needs, shall we say, a little bit more TLC, but I've bought a new toy to use. I'll quickly show you it here. So one problem we have in the unit is when we're working down the far end of the car, we've got lights all the way around on both sides and we've got lights above, but we've got nothing in front, so I needed something with a bit more power. Reading up online, most of the people will go for the scan grip solution. Uh, I think it's a D-match. And it's quite an expensive bit of kit. I think about 400 pounds. We don't have the ability to go out and spend hundreds of pounds on equipment. If we need something, we work out a way to get it. It's usually through sort of saving up for it. We don't have um, 
masses of credit facilities, we don't have thousands of pounds in the bank, or despite some people will think. Uh, the unit costs and everything else monthly it is very high, so we basically turn over enough money to pay everybody and pay the bills and then start another month. So I wanted to have a look at something different, and in this case, Sealy do a colour match system as well. I've seen a couple of people use this and it seems extremely popular. So I got this in the other day, I'll do a bit of a mini review on it later, but it's brilliant and it's for like less than 100 quid. So I'll do a bit of a review when we start work on the X5 and we'll see how this compares to the scan grip system. So the Mustang's now complete. It's had a coating of Crystal Serum, the seven year coating from G-Technic. The gloss levels to the paintwork have massively increased. We've performed a single stage correction on the paintwork just to enhance it, remove any minor defects. Didn't get a chance to do much before footage on this one because it came into us very late uh, in the week. Literally the customer rang me, I think it was on Thursday or Wednesday to say that the car was going to be there on Friday, he had an update from the dealership so literally we had to move quite quickly on this but essentially we managed to machine everything glass has been coated on this one uh, there's a little bit of smeariness on there sometimes we get that, it just can be down to uh, the product not fully curing and going off um, and we just give that a quick wipe over make sure there's no haziness left and then the wheels have been sealed with C5 wheel armour to enhance the levels of gloss. After we'd done the crystal serum, the seven year coat on the paintwork, we then applied XOV3. And I say XOV3 then adds a hydrophobic coating over the top of the hardened and durable coating of crystal serum. And that gives you the complete package then. So you get plenty of gloss. And then when it rains, you get this fantastic beading effect. So water will kind of cascade straight down the bodywork when it's stationary and then cascade up the bodywork as it's being driven along over the glass over the back of the car and I say yeah we've not done anything on the exhaust on this one mainly down to the fact that the customer has bought a Roush exhaust for the car and we uh, yeah we're really working to a budget on this one but the essential things the exterior of the vehicle has been fully protected
So behind me we have a BMW X5, which is the next car we need to start on this week. Uh, Dan has spent most of the day today doing the cutting stage and has completely uh, smashed the goal that we needed to get done uh, with regards to how far we've progressed with the car. He's done pretty much all of the cutting stages and we've left a couple of areas just so I can show you the difference between where uh, the paintwork was when it came in because we didn't get a chance to do an initial walk around. Very busy day, we had to get a Mustang out and back to the car dealership ready for the customer to collect at the end of today. Uh, that car had uh, crystal serum and XO, the wheels were sealed and the glass. So on to the X5, a bit of a history to this one. So it's owned by uh, one of the good friends who has brought cars to us in the past. He was looking for something a bit bigger as he's just had another child, or should I say his wife just had another child, and they wanted something a bit more practical. He's always been a fan of the X5 and he was looking for something with relatively low mileage. You will notice on this, my van wheels. Now the reason why I've put my van wheels on this and ignore the massive curb mark on that one is because his wheels are off for refurb. They're being resprayed a light grey. There was quite a lot of corrosion on there and he wanted to improve the overall finish. So we, so we can still move the vehicle. We took the wheels off the van. They're the same fitment and put these straight onto the X5. As you can see here, this is the condition the paintwork was in. Quite a lot of defects. Now this panel isn't actually that bad. Some areas such as the bonnet and down here on the wing had very deep scratches on them. So it is a real shame that we didn't get a chance to take any before shots to show you. <clears throat> but with the initial cut done, we've managed to get rid of most of the defects and improve, improve that clarity to the paint. So there's a haze there you can see above and below the light. That will be refined out just to bring back clarity to the paintwork. Pillars, they've already been cut. So as you can see, quite cloudy and they just need refining back. <clears throat> so history of the car. He sent me a link and said, what did you think of this uh, X5? And it was being auctioned off on eBay by the police. Now my first thought was, oh, okay, this is gonna be something that's been used as a, an ex-police car, therefore it's probably been used quite heavily. Yet, police cars tend to be maintained to a very degree, very good degree. What he actually found out was it was a repossession as part of an ongoing case. And the car sat in a compound for a number of years and wasn't used. So since he's got it, it's all been serviced. He's done a few bits and pieces to the car just to get it back to a really good standard. And now we're on to the paintwork to kind of revitalize and bring life back to the finish. Car's done relatively good mileage. It's a 2011, but it's only done about 60,000 miles, which for an X5 is extremely good for him. And hopefully after we've done all our bits, we've done the machining, we've done the correction to the paintwork, this is gonna look fantastic. <clears throat> the bodywork's gonna re be rejuvenated. And then as soon as we've done the correction, because he looks after his cars, he's currently got a, an A3 uh, touring, so A3, a three series touring, which he's selling. And that is immaculate. That was previously in with us last year for a single stage and a ceramic coat. So this is gonna also have a ceramic coat, but he's decided this time because he wants to keep it as long as possible with it having such low mileage and being such a good example of a 2011, he's gonna go with Crystal Serum seven year coat. XO to top it. We're going to do C5 to the wheels when they get back and hopefully they'll be back tomorrow from the refurb company. I'm going to seal the glass and then just the interior needs literally a light clean on it because it is extremely good. Um, so Dan's just got to do a little bit more, get out of the light Chris, a little bit more cutting just on this area up here. And then it will be refined. So we'll try and do as much footage of this one as we can. Dan's going to, I'm off tomorrow with Sam. We're doing a mobile uh, valet on a couple of our customers, our regular customers' vehicles. 
and then Dan will have the camera for the day. He'll try and get as much before and after footage as he can and a bit of the footage of him doing the machine polishing. And then we'll try and capture uh, us applying the ceramic coats on here. So you can see the process that we go down for that. Only a couple of things that we're still waiting on is if you look down here, these stone guards, this one is quite heavily damaged. So we're looking to get a set of those replaced. I actually called BMW today just to chase on a price. And for this side and for the other side, you're looking at about 50 pounds each, which is quite a lot of money in my mind for two pieces of clear plastic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a word with our guy who does vehicle wraps, see if he can put a solution in place which is a bit more cost effective and get those replaced at the same time where possible. But if not, then the car will have to leave us without the stone guards on. And you see this one here, I've already peeled back to kind of give you an example. Let's see how I can get onto, there we go. So there's a fair bit of damage to the wheel arch, which has gone cloudy. And then you can sort of almost see the original color of what the car was like before the guard was applied straight from the factory. This will come off completely. Here we've got quite a big tear mark and what looks to be, let's see if we can get that to focus. There we go. What looks to be somebody's painted. So if we pull this back, normally I'd apply a bit of heat to this, but for the purpose of the video, trying to show you. There you go. So somebody's actually lacquered that particular area and left a really nasty finish. Come on, focus, please. There we go. So as you can see, somebody's actually lacquered where that part of the sticky transfer has been to try and do some form of repair. So I don't know what we'll do there, but we're probably gonna have to wet sand that back to get it as flat as possible and then machine across here to restore it. I say normally we wouldn't just pull these off, we'd actually introduce some heat. So I won't take the rest of it off. We'll put some heat on this tomorrow remove the rest of it because the other problem you get is if you don't use heat, which I've proved just here, you end up with bits of the sticky glue resin from underneath remaining on the bodywork. So BMW X5 is now complete. I haven't managed to get much footage of us doing the coatings on this, but we ended up doing a two level of cut. <coughs> sorry, two levels of cut. Basic reason for that was that when we'd gone over and done the first heavy pass, we then reviewed some of the panels and we found there were still a few deep scratches, trying to achieve as much uh, perfection with regards to this car as possible while still keeping budget in mind. And then after we'd done the second cut, we did a refine. The overall finish is fantastic. The wheels have been refurbed and we've uh, we collected those today. So they've been done <clears throat> in a metallic gray. A couple of things that I'm gonna recommend 
just maybe the customer to come back to have done would be the brakes to be painted the calipers to be painted because it now pretty much is the only thing letting the car down the discs are in pretty good condition with the exception of this rust in here so we can paint that as well and they will be the only bits and pieces that uh, are left to be done so I'll do a quick walk around the of the vehicle if you see any haziness in the paint that's understandable because we just put another top coat of C2 V3 liquid crystal and that can sometimes leave a little bit of cloudiness we'll just wipe over that again after it's had plenty of time to cure and before the battery dies which is getting very close you can now see a fantastic end result I'm now going to go and get the customer and uh, hopefully he'll be very happy thanks very much for watching our latest vlog if you want to see more videos and you want to be alerted every time a new one drops then click the subscribe button at the top of our channel and to the left of that is a little bell icon click on that and every time a new video gets dropped you'll get a little notification anyway thanks very much for watching if you've got any comments any feedback or anything on the video stuff that you'd like to see please add it in the comments section below this video and i'll get back to as many people as possible thanks very much cheers bye